Good morning guys! Today is a day in the life of a full-time reseller slash work with me. I start every day off by snuggling Olive and that is one of my favorite things about being self-employed is that I am not in a rush to get anywhere so well on most days so I get to spend extra time in the morning snuggling Olive which is one of the best parts of the day obviously. <laughs> Here in the Chicago suburbs it's the very end of April and it's actually a warmer day, high 60s, but it is gloomy outside. We got crazy rains yesterday. Bottles! Come on! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> but since it's warmer out, and yes, 60 degrees is shorts weather for Midwesterners, obviously. So I'm putting on my Halara shorts that I got in a Helpsy Source bulk order last summer. I love these Halara shorts. And I'm pairing it with my new Purusha People Top. It is my new favorite brand. I have spent way too much money on their clothing in this last month but i think it's totally worth it here is the tag it is a total bolo brand it i would assume sells out within hours if not a few days after posting it it's a very sought after brand um i actually got an advertisement on instagram for them and fell in love uh with like ethically made ethically sourced fibers made in the USA, people paid fair wages, safe dyes, like limited release, not overproducing, everything sells out of each collection they drop. I am in love with this brand, <laughs> so I did pay full price for multiple pieces. I picked up two pieces to begin with, loved it, and placed another order with their latest release that cost me a pretty penny, but hopefully I'll be wearing these pieces all summer and for years to come. All that being said, uh, if you like hippie style clothing, check it out for yourself. And if that's not your style, remember it as a bolo brand. The first thing we really did this morning was take Olive on her W-A-L-K. This one you see she's today. Oh, good girl. Girl. And we do this every morning, 99.9% .9 of mornings. Rain or shine, Olive gets her W-A-L-K. It's usually about 20 to 40 minutes, and then she'll get some other form of exercise throughout the day, whether it's playing with her best friend Guppy or going on an evening walk. No, don't be in that! After we get back, Olive gets fed her bee fast. I can't say the word either because she knows that word, breakfast. So I've talked about Olive's food before on the channel. She's fed a raw food diet. So right now she's getting pork patties. They're pre-made. I buy them frozen from our local bougie independent pet store. I love them. They're the best. And then on top, the little cubes are actually some raw rabbit cubes. Uh, that is just, you know, some diversity and protein. And then Normally I would add goat's milk to her food, but the goat's milk I forgot to pull out and thaw yesterday after using the end of it. So we had to skip the goat's milk today since it was frozen solid and she just got water with her food. Uh, the reason I add water to her food is because when you think about dogs and drinking water, it's usually because they're in a constant state of dehydration from kibble. So because Olive's food is packed with moisture, it's not, you know, preserved and dehydrated. She doesn't drink that much water, so I always add the goat's milk and some extra water just to her food to make sure she is getting enough liquids because she really doesn't drink throughout the day unless she's getting back from doing a high intensity activity. Yes, we're talking about you right now. <laughs> yes, I could talk about you all day long. That's like our very consistent morning routine is wake up, get ready, Olive goes out, eats breakfast, and then I start my day, however that may look. Today, I actually have nothing on my calendar until yoga this evening. So I decided to start by editing some YouTube videos. Well, the very first thing I do as soon as I wake up and I'm not groggy, I in bed open up Poshmark and just check if there's anything that needs immediate attention or 
if I got any sales because it's always great to start your day by seeing a few sales come in throughout the night. Today was no different. I got a couple sales that we'll talk about later. But as soon as I'm ready to start the work part of my day or even if I'm eating breakfast myself, I open up Poshmark and get my closet sharing. That's like the very first task of the day when it comes to work. So opened up Poshmark, got that sharing, and then I worked on editing tomorrow's YouTube video, which I have not yet finished, so I still need to do that. Why have I not finished that task yet? Well, that is because Kendall called me, my sister Kendall. She's in, she makes an appearance in some of my videos, often Ben's videos. She asked if I wanted to go to H Mart with her to get lunch. And if you don't know what H Mart is, it is a Korean grocery store and it's all the way out in Naperville. If you're familiar with the suburbs, Naperville is kind of, I don't know, it's weird. I don't really consider it a Chicago suburb. It's kind of its own thing. It's probably about an hour outside of the city. So yeah, at that point, it's not like city of Chicago. So it's not really a suburb anymore, but I'm sure a lot of people consider it a suburb, but who cares? But whatever, this is not about Naperville. I'm just saying Naperville is probably about a half hour away from us. I don't really want to go out to Naperville, even though H Mart is great. And I've been craving this rice cake soup from the food court there. Um, I just, I don't know. I hate making the drive out there. But I was like, guess what? There's a Once Upon a Child out in Naperville. I always have um, kids clothes laying around to take to buy sell trade stores. I pick them up at the bins and then trade them in obviously for cash. So I told her, I was like, I'll go with you if we can stop at Once Upon a Child and drop off some kids clothes so I can get some of that stuff sold. You get to see my part of my pile of shame. I'm not gonna show you at all because it's embarrassing, but this, these two totes in this bag, these are coats I need to list later, but these are kids consignment things. So I'm gonna organize a bin to take to ones upon a child. But this Naperville location is not one I go to. I've actually never sold there. The one time I tried was around COVID and they're like, oh, we're only accepting things in totes right now. And I brought them in in like TJ Maxx bags. And I was like, well, that sucks. <laughs> Anyway, so she agreed and we headed out to Once Upon a Child. We're heading out to buy, sell, trade, and then to get lunch. The plan was to drop my stuff off, get lunch, and then pick it up on the way back. So I was like, cool, perfect plan. Go in, drop off my stuff. And the lady's like, so we're running about eight. And I hear eight and I'm like, oh crap, eight hours. It's gonna suck, I'm gonna have to come back. And then she goes, days. We're running about eight days. I don't think she said behind. She just said she's like, we're running about like at eight days right now. And I'm like, I, I literally was like, oh, wow. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, we just finished last Monday. And for context, today is April 29th, Monday, April 29th. So they're running a week behind that. I've never, if I had known that, I would not have dropped off there because now I have to drive back out to Naperville next week to pick up my stuff. And on top of that, so as walking in again, I've never sold there before. I was like, oh, this is a really big location. Hopefully they'll take a lot of the stuff because the one I usually go to is relatively tiny and they still take a good amount of stuff. But then I literally saw them, a mom and her son came up to pick, came to get their cash offer, pick up some stuff. And she's like, oh yeah, we didn't take anything. And I was just curious. I looked at the stuff. Like they just had some laundry basket full of like Nike Air Jordan shoes. And obviously I don't know if authenticity or condition, but immediately I was like, oh crap, they're not going to take my Old Navy Carter's Target stuff if they're passing on this. But who knows? I don't know. Basically, I'm afraid I... I'm going to have to drive out a half hour to go pick up my stuff and then be like, here's $5 when normally I get $30 to $80 going to this other location. But, you know, let's just call it an experiment. <laughs> Unfortunately, you will not get the update because I am faster at processing YouTube videos than they are at processing kids clothes. So you're in the dark with me. However, we got to go to H Mart after that. I got... We both got the same soup we were craving and the panchan side dishes were so good. The kimchi tastes exactly like kimchi in Korea. I lived in Korea for a little while and I've actually been thinking about going back maybe next year. I have some friends there who are always trying to get me to go back. Kendall grabbed a Korean corn dog. I tried a little bite of it. It tastes very 
American, like the Korean corn dogs in Korea just are way different and way better and way cheaper. It's like a dollar fifty for a Korean corn dog and Kendall paid like seven dollars for hers and it was just tasted American. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> now I'm gonna work on finishing editing that YouTube video and then I think I'm gonna share with you guys what I am shipping out today. This may look like a cozy setup and you'd be right. I was feeling tired and it's like, I'm gonna put my head back like this and just close my eyes for 10 minutes so I don't take a nap. Um, I fell asleep and I just woke up and was like, oh, well, at least it was only like a 20 minute nap. It was an hour. I'm going to quickly take you through what I am shipping out today. So the first item I am shipping is this Andy swimsuit. I got this in a boutique by the box, Andy brand swimwear box. That video is up on my channel. Uh, as soon as I started listing this stuff, I realized that it was pretty oversaturated in the sense that everybody who ordered those boxes got the same stuff, which is a risk you take with buying wholesale liquidation pieces. So this piece, I accepted an offer of $30 on because I bought 120 pieces of Andy Swim and all these styles are relatively uh, saturated in the market. So I just want to try and move these. I think I paid like $6 and some change per piece. So I'm still like happy with almost a $20 profit. I was hoping that these swimsuits would bring more money though. Okay, I sold this Eliza J dress. It sold for $55. Uh, Eliza J formal wear like gowns do pretty well. So I would recommend keeping an eye out for those pieces from Eliza J. I sold an Arata Silent Journey blazer. This was the first Arata Silent Journey piece I had ever found. It gives like Johnny Woods vibes and I've heard it does very well. This piece sold for 34, which is probably lower than I was expecting when I first found it. And it probably took like a year to sell. But again, Arata Silent Journey is known for being very out there, artsy, Johnny Woods-esque, and this was a pretty basic piece. So I'm actually happy with the $34 sale. Then I sold a bundle of girls Hannah Anderson clothes. It was three pieces. They were all older styles and I've had these for like two years now and I actually had them listed separately and then I finally like a couple months ago put these specific items together and I got an offer for 18. Honestly I'm probably only making a few bucks on that but uh, yeah, I just wouldn't pick up Hannah Anderson at Mainline Goodwill anymore, like pretty much bins pick up only. I'm shipping out these Steve Madden sandals. This was actually a full price sale. Oh, if you're curious, pretty much all of these, I think, actually no. So actually all the sales I just showed you were all offers sent to me. So I don't pay discounted shipping on any of them, but in general, I do have Pasha VA and not an affiliate with them or anything. Um, I do like to use them. I pretty much only use their sharing service and then offers to likers. So after like four or five minutes, my Pasture VA sends out offers to likers and I have it priced. Uh, it's not a flat like 30% or whatever. It's based on how it's priced, but everything under $115 is the, the lowest amount that you can pay like the 549 or whatever in discounted shipping so whenever i get one of those sales i'm losing <laughs> two dollars in shipping anyway this steve madden pair of sandals is actually a full price bin sale love that uh, i get an earnings of 16 and i paid less than two dollars for these shoes likely um steve madden is a bread and butter brand for me i've heard that some people don't have as good of luck with it but i pick it up often Okay, I think this might be the first Pasha VA sale that I'm sharing. Let's see. Yes. Okay, so here's a Pasha VA sale. It sold for $27 um, minus fees and my shipping discount of $2.02. I get $19.58. So it is kind of a bummer to see a $27 sale go all the way down to less than $20 you're getting paid out. But... It is what it is and I'm just happy to get stuff moving. I bought this Halara stuff last summer and it sold really well. I'd say if you get the opportunity to purchase Halara, well, okay, this is very, let me rephrase it. 
I would pick up Halara again, new with tag, wholesale pieces, if I could get, and what I've sold is pants and dresses. So if I could get my hands on pants and dresses for $6.50 and under, or like that's the price, bulk price, $6.50 per piece, I would purchase it again. However, when I have seen Halara since then, the prices have gone up and it's at least like $7 per piece. And a lot of these Halara sales, I'm making $5 profit. So I just cannot increase my cost of goods on Halara. The reason I like selling it is it's so easy to list. It takes me minutes, especially if I get duplicates and it's popular, it moves. So I got like 200 pieces last summer and I counted recently and I think I have less than 50 left which is honestly great I sell a piece I almost every day I ship I'm shipping out a piece of Halara and so oh well I'm shipping out too you'll see another Halara in a minute so um let's go faster I'm shipping out this travel on purse it's a brand I had never heard of before I grabbed it in the bins while listing it it looks to be a travel brand which makes sense they make things for you uh, that are convenient to travel with and this sold full price for $24 in like a week and a half maybe so that was great I picked that up again at the bins these were a offers to like or sale these Tory Burch flats classic style I always pick these up if I can get them for like seven dollars and under because people are always looking for them and these were pretty beat and they still sold for 29 I'm guessing I paid between five and seven dollars for these guys I actually started more consistently relisting items I'll do like maybe two to five a day so I relisted these Halara shorts a couple weeks ago and since I mean I posted them like last July or August I was ready to get them relisted I was ready to get new eyes on them for the summer they sold full price twenty dollars in a week and a half after being relisted but a lot of my sales we have another relist sale coming up a lot of sales have been coming from relists so i've been very much enjoying that because i really think like say this month alone i made like at least 10 sales from relisting i genuinely think those things would not have sold if i had not relisted them so um someone sent me an offer of $28 for this sweaty betty swimsuit I picked this up last May I don't think it has been listed since May but I remember buying it last May um and it sold really quickly in a larger size but I've had the extra small hanging around so I accepted that $28 offer I was actually really happy with it since I don't have to pay discounted shipping and then here <laughs> olive olive here is another relist sale. Uh, these are Matisse or Beach by Matisse. They have other lines like Coconuts by Matisse. That line I know has been sold at Free People, but they can be sold at Nordstrom. They're just kind of all over the place, you know? It's like a wholesale brand that stores will carry sometimes. So I grabbed these at last chance, I think for around $6, not realizing that Beach by Matisse is a lower end line than Coconuts. Like I just obviously and it was a different line but it is cheaper so i had these listed last year like kind of high around 30 dollars, which is actually relatively close to retail so i relisted them and then um this person sent me an offer so i think it was like 19 plus shipping was my offer and they sent me just 17 dollars. so i accepted that because you know it's relatively close i'm just glad to get my cost of goods back and make a tiny profit and get these out of my inventory since i've had them for about a year now we're almost done <laughs> almost done with stuff I'm shipping out today um I sold this Bardot dress this was a last chance pickup it was new with tags new with a Nordstrom tag on it not brand tag um I've actually sold this dress in another size that one sold like in under 24 hours but I have noticed in general Bardot is not doing that well for me so when I pick it up I really consider whether it's a style I think will do well or if it makes sense for me to just take it to buy sell trade stores but they have actually passed on some Bardot pieces I've taken them recently also so Bardot is sold if you're not familiar at Nordstrom and Revolve I think it's an Australian brand so they have their own website too anyway this sold for $25 I honestly I don't remember how much I paid for this uh, hopefully I think it was probably around four or five dollars so it's not the best profit but it's been sitting around for a few months and it's to me definitely more of a fall winter dress than spring summer last sale that i'm shipping out today as of right now 
is this pair of ammo jeans and this was an offer to likers sale and i'm so glad <laughs> that these sold i was afraid i was gonna have these forever i picked these up last summer at like crossroads or buffalo exchange and then i realized when i got home that they had been hemmed that rarely happens to me when i pick up jeans i'm just lucky and they're not usually altered and I paid up for these obviously at Crossroads or I think they came from Crossroads. So even though I had credit, I probably still spent anywhere at that the last summer, I might've spent like $17 for these. So I listed them and disclosed, I like literally the title is Ammo Black Coal High Rise Straight Leg Chloe Crop Jeans Short Hemmed Petite. <laughs> I feel like an eBay -er. I just put every I was like, make sure the person knows that these are hemmed. And so after sitting for um uh, eight months, they sold on an offer for $62. And I'm very happy to not be hanging on to these anymore. And if I were to pay up for ammo jeans again, I'd obviously check to see if they were hemmed. And I would check the specific style. Pretty much any women's jean like high-end designer jean brand you're picking up like what are the mother ammo girlfriend um a, a goldie like all those if i'm paying up for these brands i'm searching the specific style and the size to make sure the market is not oversaturated and it's worth paying up like and that they're selling you know for a decent amount I mean, obviously that's a good recommendation for anything you're picking up, but especially for me, some reasons, jeans. I just am not a big fan of selling jeans, so I'm always checking my comps pretty well when paying up for jeans. And that is everything I'm going to be shipping out today, and I will let you know if uh, anything else sells before I head out to the post office. Okay, shipping right now, and I'm watching yeah, Caleb Sells on YouTube. He does mostly men's stuff, and well, I don't sell a lot of men's. I do like to broaden my horizon, so if I come across a bolo while, while I'm out, I know to grab it. Here is my pile of stuff going out today. So here's one sale that sold after I shared my sales with you guys. Uh, as I was talking about, my shipping setup is completely unesthetic. It's in a dark purple basement so this is why i do not do ship with me um and i don't know if i'll ever share my inventory system because i just don't think it's that great but it works for me oops sorry blurry anyway this is what sold it's a bra it's from the brand glamorize it sold for 12 dollars. i picked it up for like a dollar so i'm making like an eight dollar profit which is not the profit i'm going for but i'm glad to still profit and i probably would stay away from this brand just because after listing and selling a few i've learned it does not sell very high like always under 20 dollars. it seems there's just some lint there beep beep out of dog beep 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 out of dog baby out of dog ready to go guppy's house i'll go play with guppy Olive is ready to go play with Guppy and we got the packages all ready to go out on this Monday. Ooh, a whole anthropology bag. I got, uh, my sister got me a gift from anthropology for my birthday and it came with this bag and I love it. It's adorable. That was like, I mean, the shopping tote. She didn't buy the bag. We are headed to the post office, aren't we? Yeah. And we have 15 minutes before they close, so we are cutting it close. And then yoga's at 6.30 and it is 5.45 right now. We are then going to go to my mom's house and Olive and Guppy can play in the backyard until I have to leave. Guppy is our family dog and Olive is my dog and they're best friends. So that is the plan. For right now. Hi Guppy! Do you want to go play with Olive? Come on! You're naked! Where's your collar? <laughs> Let's go play with Olive! So they have about 15 minutes to run around and be crazy in the backyard until I have to leave and then they just get to go inside and hang out until I come back to take Olive home. My 
accidental 10 minute rest my eyes turned to one hour nap has thrown me off a little bit. Oh, there's an olive butt. Um, I mean, I was hoping to use the hour that I slept to finish editing my YouTube video that goes up tomorrow. So I'll have to do that when I get back and then get up t at least 10 listings. I was hoping for more today, but probably just my daily 10 item goal. Olive's being a stinker. Olive, no, no digging. We had to put this, this up. It doesn't do much, but uh, she likes to dig and try to eat this tree. Stop it. Ooh, that's cute. <laughs> I just finished up in yoga. It was a great workout. I often come to this Monday night class and there's like six or seven people usually there, but it was packed tonight. Almost every single mat was taken. There were only a few open spots and actually the regular teacher is out of town. And so there's a sub. And while I like the regular teacher, I actually prefer this sub. She only has one permanent class but whenever she subs I try to get in so now we will go pick up Olive I will probably chat with my mom for a little bit go home shower and finish a night of work I have just gotten out of the shower I feel very refreshed it was a much needed shower after a heated yoga class it is 8 40 I like to go to bed by 12 am i going to make it to bed by 12 i don't know because you're probably thinking riley aren't you a full-time reseller don't full-time resellers have to list every day you'd be right um at least i'd say most full-time resellers list every day i am one of those <laughs> i am in the category of i list every day and i like to list 10 items a day so i still have to eat dinner um that's probably like a half hour out at least I'm not even really hungry right now but I probably will be soon um and I want to finish that YouTube video so what I'm going to do is brush my hair finish editing the YouTube video eat dinner do 10 listings that's that's the plan I finished my video for tomorrow. Thank God I'm going to do like all the rest of it, you know, like thumbnail stuff. I always do that the day it goes up. And so now I can try and get a couple items listed before dinner and then do the rest for the rest of the night. What you doing? Do you wanna be naked? Olive likes to sleep naked. Diggle, be naked. My dad was making chicken for dinner and offered to make me some chicken as well. So I ate pretty close to what I was planning to eat, but just pivoted slightly. I try to eat the least amount of meat possible for sustainability reasons and also because eating meat makes me sad because I like animals. But I'm not a vegetarian or a vegan. Um, I'm just when the last year I've been cutting back on the amount of meat I eat. So originally my dinner was going to be what it is, rice, and unfortunately my pita got moldy. It went bad faster than I expected, so uh, lettuce instead, substitute, um, with almonds and garlic sauce and homemade hummus. If you like hummus and have never made homemade hummus, it's relatively easy in 10 times a billion let's go with a billion a billion times more delicious than store-bought hummus so totally recommend doing that what i was actually gonna do for my protein was meaty mushroom meat it's supposed to taste like chicken it kind of tastes like chicken i don't expect imitation meat mushroom meat to taste like chicken so it's good for what it is and makes me feel better when i'm eating food <laughs> but tonight i did have chicken since my dad was cooking that so I did like a kind of a lettuce wrap thing slash just ate lettuce with rice I don't know <laughs> so this is a meal I actually eat quite often just minus the meat either no protein or mushroom meat protein I will show you what the rest of my night will look like I'll probably get a few listings up I'm gonna go for five listings posted today I already listed one item. I listed a pair of Madewell pants for $44. I'm hoping to get around a $30 or $30 to $34 sale price from those. 
and here's my setup for the rest of the night before I go to bed. So, computer here, Olive here. Olive likes to bury herself in the blankets. Oh my gosh, you can't even see her. There she is. Yes, he's a funny dog. Let's tuck her back into bed. And Olive does sleep with me, and um, I sleep terribly, but I can never kick her out of bed. So, uh, sometimes I watch reseller YouTube content. Oh, that's actually not a uh, reseller. Oh, that's a video going up tomorrow. Um, I guess I don't have any pulled up. <laughs> so, I do normally watch reseller YouTube content, but tonight I'm feeling like putting on this nice rainy scene. It is AI. And... Uh, listening to the audiobook I started last night. It's a thriller. I'm only probably about, let's see, 32 minutes in. Um, it's got my attention so far. And so what I do is I play this and turn on my audiobook and we'll get to listing and I will update you guys with how much I get done. Alrighty guys, I have finished my listing for the night. The day, the day is over, the work day is over. Have I convinced you yet to be a full-time reseller with this amazing work-life balance <laughs> listing in my bed? It is almost 12.30, so stayed up a little later than I wanted. I only got five items listed today, and as I said, my daily goal is 10. So definitely fell behind. I have not been very strict with myself in the month of April of getting 10 up, so May I'm going to have to uh, reevaluate that. <laughs> reevaluate. I don't know if that's the right word. More like uh, be stricter on myself. I did work seven hours today. Most of that time was spent on YouTube, which unfortunately makes me very, very little money. So not totally worth the three hours I put in on YouTube today. Um, between filming this video, editing the other video, another hour went to buy, sell, trade, which I have not received any money from it yet and we'll have to go back in eight days. My goal as a full-time reseller is to work six hours every single day because I work every day of the week, Monday through Sunday. Again, work-life balance, being self-employed, not awesome, but I really like the freedom to be able to stop and start and do whatever I want to do. The last few days I was actually feeling kind of slumpy and didn't get much work done and I like the option of being self-employed where if I don't feel like showing up, I don't have to. I can work one hour that entire day and take it off. I'm not saying that's the best option for my business, your business, to take off that time, but, you know, coming into this week, I'm feeling more motivated. Hopefully, we'll be hitting my regular goals. Are you coming to say goodbye, Olive? <laughs> This was a very realistic look into a full-time reseller's life, at least my full-time reseller life. Um, I prioritize sleep, <laughs> um, exercise, yoga. I go to yoga most days of the week. And olive walks. Those things always get done. Well, sleep, you know. <laughs> And honestly, work kind of comes second, and that's how I want my life to be. I love it that way. <laughs> Things that are most important to me come first. So let me know if you like the style of video. I actually really like filming it. It's probably going to be a pain in the butt to edit. I do have another one of these on my channel that was posted maybe in August. If you want to see how my reseller life has evolved or has stayed the same. Um, if you like the style of video let me know because i would like to make more for you guys and i will see you guys in another video soon goodbye